Hey everyone, so welcome to this. Today we're going to go over a simple example of how to use Party Town. And this is just going to be with base HTML. We're not going to have any bundlers, anything fancy, no V, no webpack, just raw HTML the old fashioned way. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm here in VS Code in just an empty directory. I'm going to create a new file. I'm just going to create our index.html. And in here, I'm just going to fill this with some basic information. OK, perfect. Now that we have that, I'm going to go into our terminal and I'm going to run an npm init just to get us our package JSON file. And I'm just going to leave all of these blank for the project. Perfect. Okay, so now we have our package JSON file. And next, I'm going to run an npm i for install at builder.io slash party town. This will install the npm package that we're going to need to refer to. Perfect. Okay. So, what party town does essentially is it outsources our scripts that we may be running into a web worker so that for example if you're using Google Analytics or Facebook Pixel or something like that they won't clog up the main thread what will mean that your first contentful paint will be a lot faster if you're worried about your web vitals so for example here I'm gonna just create a script we're not gonna do anything with Google Analytics or anything like that and I'm just gonna give it a type of text slash JavaScript and then in here I'm just gonna give a it a simple for loop that will run almost a million times and for each one I'm just gonna console.log the the counter so you can probably imagine what this will do I'm not actually gonna run it right now because I know that with this big of a for loop clogging the main thread it's gonna completely crash my uh, Google Chrome so we're just gonna wait on that the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run an npx command in order to install the necessary or I should say copy the necessary files that we're gonna need into a public directory so that command's going to look like this npx party town copy lib public tilde party town and now you will see that will give us a public directory with all of these files in it however in this tutorial we're not going to use a public directory and put our index html in there so we're just going to take the party town file right out and move it right into the base directory and I'm just going to delete that public file. Okay, cool. So now let's see what happens when we run this. So I'm going to go live and it'll open into my Chrome. And you're going to see that it is unbearably slow. You can see that our largest contentful paint took 2.9 seconds. Not great, not what we want. How we can get around this though is we can write it, run another script here and I'm going to give it a type of text slash JavaScript and I'm going to give it the source of it will be slash party town and then party town.js save that oops bit of a mistake there and then So you can see if we refresh this now I'm going to close this port reopen it you're going to see that it is unbearably slow once again and let's wait till we get our web vitals here yeah not not great not what we want we can now fix this though because we have this package that we got from the node modules if I go here and I change this text to text slash party town 
save that. I'm going to close the port once again, go live on live server. You will now see that we get great web vitals. Ignore that little lag just because that other window is still open. And it will still console log all of these entities. If you can't really tell by looking at the console, you can tell if this is working by going into the head object. You'll see the Party Town script that we're running, and then you'll see the other script, and it'll have Party Town X or S appended to the end of the type. That's how you can tell if this is working. I know that was a very short tutorial, but that's really all you need to know if you're not using a bundler. We're going to move forward and create other tutorials using Astro, React, and we'll probably use a couple other build tools too to demonstrate this because setting this up right now while it's in beta can still be a little bit challenging. However, you're going to have to wait for the next one for that. If you like this content, please subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.